The round handle of the door said, turn me. It was Handel who'd been calling to me. Turn me, Hester, he said again. What am I supposed to do now? Outside was forbidden. Boot would go there to chop wood. Zack could go there to hang clothes, but not Hester. Oh, you push me, young lady. Don't you dare. I had seen it outside through the windows only. Whenever the day curtains were off for cleaning, I climbed up on the arm of the couch, lay across it like cat in the sun, and looked at the outside while Sack washed the curtains in the laundry. You don't even call me daddy. What's wrong with you? Don't, don't you go near that door. Anytime I ever looked at the outside, I could hear a slush. Slush, slush, the hard laundry brush against the curtains. Then I'd watch her carry them outside in the cane basket and hang them. The curtains hung like thick brown walls on the line, moving back and forth in the wind. I wanted to see more of the outside, so I climbed down from the couch and pressed my nose against the glass. I tried to see around the corner, but the walls of one cot road stood in the way. Turn me, Hester, Handel said. I am your friend. Turn me. The back door swung open and I stepped out. I was looking at the forbidden world with a tree in it. I lay and listened to the sound of ants walking. I listened to tree reaching for the handle to the door of the home of the sun. I heard another sound too, deep inside, in a part you couldn't put a finger on. It was Sack shouting at Boot for all she was worth. Soon she would go looking for me in the bedroom where I should have been, then there would be trouble. I stood up and ran through the grass back to the steps and the door. <laughs>